Welcome back, friends. We all remember watching Tiger King. Remember during the early days of the pandemic, uh, four big cats rescued from that park are now living here in Minnesota. Kendall went to learn more about them at the Wildcat Sanctuary, which is just north of the Twin Cities in Sandstone. Look. Okay, when I first heard about you all, I was like, wait, there's an accredited wildcat sanctuary in Minnesota. Sadly, we hear we're the best kept secret, <laughs> which is not Seriously? what a nonprofit wants to hear, but it's perfect for the cats because it's a peaceful setting in the middle of nowhere where they can kind of finally have a safe haven. Why did you make that choice to say, you know what? Yeah, it'd be great to get the money, I'm sure, but. Sanctuaries can be open to the public for educational purposes. We chose not to be early in the industry. We all had our own niche and our niche was to take in cats that had really seen some abusive situations from humans and didn't really want to see humans again and took a lot of rehabilitation. Um, now we've evolved a little bit where we have social cats and non-releasable wildlife and things like that, but really our job was to be here just for the animals. We have great reputable zoos in our state that can do education and show people tigers and so our mission was kind of more internal towards the cats to give them what they need here at the sanctuary. Which brings us right to where we are right now mm -hmm. with two big cats that people have heard of from this little known show called Tiger King. Tiger King uh, was the worst thing to happen to our industry and the best thing to happen because it really showcased the characters in the industry versus the victims, the animals. And luckily that tide has turned and so uh, people like Joe Exotic and Jeff and Lauren Lowe and Tim Stark have um, lost their license to operate the big cat parks because they were just breeding cats for public interaction and for profit. I have been fighting against people like that forever. Um, it's not that we don't want people to have connections with wildlife, but not at the wildlife as an expense. So it's why we need the Big Cat Public Safety Act, which is this federal bill we've been trying to get passed for a long time that would not allow public contact of any age with big cats, not allow private breeding, um, but would exempt our reputable zoos that are actually doing conservation work. This is Thor's favorite way to stalk. <laughs> Hi. So Thor is a, also from the Tiger King and he's a young tiger. He's just discovering who Hi, he Thor. is and he always practices his hunting skills. As a white tiger and also as a youngin, he doesn't realize that he can't be seen right now. You don't know how big you are, do you? Well, I wanted to test your chuffing skills. Okay, I'm telling you, <laughs> I when we were in Duluth at the zoo, I did get a chuff back from their <laughs> so. old tiger, so. It, 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 like that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he, the one that can do it the best, can tell us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just say hello to him and do oh, a yeah. chop. Okay. <laughs> like no. Try it louder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting nothing. Hey, I got the chuff till you came with, so okay. I don't know what I happened. Thought I, I thought I had the gift. <laughs> I'm so upset about the chuffing. <laughs> I mean, I hate to tell girls. you, but he actually loves everybody. So <laughs> this is the first time. No! <laughs> this is the Thor! first time we've seen this. <laughs> Thor, I don't know what I did. All I want is to love you. I just want you to love me back. He literally looked away when I said that. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Come on. Oh my gosh. Like lounging in that pool like I'm lounging my kitty pool in the backyard. Are you talking? That's a kitty pool. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> You know, does it ever just break your heart? And in my opinion, I'm like, does it just make you hate everyone when you see some of these conditions that these cats come out of? I hear that all the time, and kind of my response is, it only takes one person to harm an animal, but it takes a community of people to save an animal. I mean, it took so many sanctuaries, so many authorities, so many donors, so much media to give him a better life, and so there is way more good out there than bad. Okay, so this is what you do if you love animals like I do, and I know that you do. You need to support the Big Cat Public Safety Act. You need to not pet, take pictures with cubs, keep the wildlife in the wild, and um, I think that's it, right, Thor? <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> All right, one and done. I'll take it. I'll take that for the win. You only got one. 
Just the one. I have a question, but can I tell you right now, my mother loves large cats. We yes. used to have tiger wallpaper mm -hmm. in our house. She, I'm not joking, she is having, she's probably crying right now. So Tammy, if you need any part-time workers, <laughs> uh, her name is Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's so beautiful. Why did you have to wear a mask? Mm -hmm. So actually, the big cats can get COVID. I don't know if everybody remembers uh, oh. back in 2020. A couple of it came out. A couple zoos, and they had an issue actually at their sanctuary too, because the cats are close enough to each other. So they're still taking those precautions. And unfortunately, you you, you heard it earlier, but you can't go visit the sanctuary. They keep it that way for the cats, which I think is really yes. cool. So yeah, it's not about us. It's about them. To learn more about the Wildcat Sanctuary visit wildcatsanctuary.org. Tammy, thank you for letting us in. We greatly appreciate it.